Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about CSV files and Power BI. Um, most people, most of you already know how to upload a CSV file to a Power BI. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. But I'm going to talk about two different things. I'm going to talk about a CSV file and a CSV and file saved in a, in a folder. Um, and so I'll show you what I mean here. Just Let drag this over. Uh, so we're going to work with this data here. 2021 sales. It's a CSV file. And uh, we also have a folder here called sales by month. And it's just basically the same data except broken up per month. So we're going to load in the, the folder. And the, the beauty of this particular one is so that if you're saying running a, um, a running, a, say a 12 month or you, every month you get new month and you just want to just add it to it. You don't have to rerun everything. You just add in the new month that kind of thing so put this to the side uh so uh let's look at the data again uh this is the this one is the the full year data and i mean i also included a calculated uh column for the month number this way i can add in my month table and uh so i can get the month information here instead of the date and uh, and I could put it in month order uh, with with uh, putting it using this month number here and um, the this one here is the the folder it's the same thing same thing I did a co uh, calculated column here for the month and we can see the relationship here between the two we've got the month number here the month number here so um, we can, as we can see, we got the data going. It works well for both of these. Now the problem being is there's no connection for the region. We someone says, okay, you know, boss came to us says we need to add the region to this, and we realize that there is no uh, no connection to any. There's no region number in any of these. So. What we need to do is we need to add the region number to all these files. So I'm going to uh, pull this out right now here. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to add the region numbers in and uh, uh, I'll come back to you when they're done. All right, I'm back. I've added the sales region ID to every one of these. This is the, the 2021 sales. Uh, and um, I did the exact same thing for every one of those um the month with the same sales ids for every the month so i can i can just shut this down now and and as we can see we've got a, a region table of a east and west and region one and region two those are those are only regions we have for this example so uh, we got it in so we're thinking okay all is good um now all we have to do is is refresh the data and uh and everything should be good right and so we go take a look and we go to sales one and we don't see the region number and the same thing with the sales by month no region number so we can't make the connection because there's no connection available so i mean uh so what do we do we can go into transform data uh and maybe we can do it from here so let's look at the 2021 sales. We can try refreshing that and it doesn't update. So here's where uh, the trick comes in. So when you're working with one sheet, when it's a, a connection to the file itself, you just, all you do is go to the source up in the very top of the applied steps. And you can see that's looking at only three columns, the first three columns. And then we added the fourth column. Now all we, have, all we have to do here is add in the fourth column. And that is it. If you go back down to change, we can see that it's here. Now it's trying to make it a, uh, we're going to just change this type to a whole number so that the IDs match. Uh, but anyways, that that's all we have to do for the file. Okay, so we'll go in and I'll show you what I mean. It'll refresh it. And then we're going to create the relationship here. Okay. So we're going to make the relationship ID with region uh, number. Okay. 
we got a, a one to many relationship which is right then we come back here and now it works okay so all is fine uh, but now when you're working with a folder it's a little different so if you go back to the source so you can go back you can kind of see how it works with folders you've got to add in go to the source it says uh, you know it's looking at adding all these folders all these files from the folder okay uh, and you can see that there's no option up here to add in a new um, column so this is what you need to do okay first of all we always always make duplicates because you're going to be working with some data and uh, and manipulating data and you, you don't want to manipulate the original data in case something goes haywire so i've created two different duplicates okay the first one is the one we're going to work on this is the original this is the one we're going to work on so this is the one that has the relationship this one's the one we're going to work on and this is just a copy uh, from when we update the original and if there's something that still goes wrong we at least we have the original we have a copy of it okay so this is what we're going to work on so we want to go back up to where we see remain uh rename columns and we see this okay so we're going to delete everything up to that point there we go so now then well, all we do is to go into content And we can see now the region numbers there. Just press OK and everything will load. There it goes. We have our region number. It has the right uh, type. Okay. And again, that was updated in, in number two. So now we want to add that information to the sales by month. So um, we go into, uh, first of all, we go into applied filter, still under number two or sorry, advanced editor, I'm saying, advanced editor, and just copy everything. And go back to sales by month. And do the uh, open advanced editor again, and just paste everything on top of that. That's done. Okay, so it looks good, it's there. Okay, we're gonna delete this. We're still not going to delete number three because we have to validate the, uh, from our uh, report here that, that it's actually there. Okay, so we'll refresh it. It's going to it's gonna actually load the, this one as well. Don't worry about that. So now we go over here. Uh, and of course, uh, Power BI tries to look for relationships. We're just going to delete these relationships for the sales month three. We don't need it. It's not necessary but what we're going to do is we're going to add a relationship with the sales by month now the sales region id to the sales number the region number and i don't think i grabbed it properly there we go and we got the relationship okay now we come back here and ta-da it works fine Okay. So then all we do have to do now is go back into here and delete uh, this. Now, like I say, the reason why we kept it here is because if there was something wrong that you went through the process and the connection didn't add, there was it just didn't work properly, at least you have the original um, information here. You can put it back into the sales month uh, if needed. But in this case, we know it works. All we do is now delete this and it is finished. We've added the sales region from a CSV file. Um, and uh, that works with any, I think if you wanted to add a two, three, four uh, additional columns, you can do the same thing. All right. Thank you very much.